Hi, it's Dr. Marie with Minutes for Moms here to give you more practical pediatric advice. Today we are going to talk about over-the-counter medicines that I would like for you to make sure that you pack if you're going on vacation. This is if you're going to the beach or if you're going on an international trip. It's much easier if you have it packed and you need it instead of 3 o'clock in the morning trying to find a pharmacy or a store that opened that you can buy this stuff. So kind of the list is kind of more all-inclusive as much as that I possibly can from an over-the-counter standpoint. Remember, I want you to buy the generic version of your medicines, not the name brand things because you will save a lot more money if you go generic. The first thing that I want you to make sure you pack is something that will help with fever, aches and pains, anything musculoskeletal. That will be acetaminophen and ibuprofen. Make sure that you pack both of those. You also want to make sure that you pack something that will cover an allergic reaction that's going to be Benadryl or the generic version of that is diphenhydramine. I also want you to make sure that you pack Claritin or Zyrtec. That's for just general allergies, the sneezing, the coughing, the runny nose, the itchy eyes, and stuff like that. I also want you to cover your GI component. From a gastrointestinal standpoint, you want to use Amiprazole, which is really, really good for an upset stomach. If you go somewhere and you've eaten the wrong thing, you got a nausea, kind of that upset stomach, um, just kind of general, does a really good job with that. You also want to make sure that you pack Imodium if you get diarrhea. Uh, that's not something that's approved in kind of our younger children, but it is kind of our older children and teens. But Imodium is a good thing to have. Another thing is if you are prone to constipation or your child's prone to constipation, make sure that you pack either Milk of Magnesia and or Miralax. Miralax is nice because it's in powder form and you can find it in small little packets and that will kind of help the whole constipation thing. Your other thing that you're going to generally look for is going to be your skin. Uh, treatments. First, for an itchy rash, you want to do like a 1% hydrocortisone cream, or Cordate is the name brand of that. If you have an infected rash, you want to make sure that you have a uh, triple antibiotic ointment or Neosporin, something that has an antibiotic in it, as well as if we've got a fungal thing like athlete's foot or some will kind of get more just a fungal rash, having something like a Lotrimin or the generic version of that is Clotrimazole, that is also really, really nice that you you have. So another thing from a cold and congestion standpoint, having something that is a nasal decongestant, so something like Sudafed. You want to do something that also has a cough suppressant in it. That's going to be Delsim. Sometimes Trimin at nighttime is a nice thing as well. And then if you're going to go in an airplane, one nice thing that you can get is Afrin, which is a nasal decongestion that will kind of dry you up. You do that about 30 minutes before you get in on an airplane, and it'll make all the difference in the world. Make sure that you kind of follow all those directions fairly closely just so you don't get kind of any uh, rebound congestion. Um, other thing is always make sure that you pack your sunscreen. Remember SPF of at least 30. The higher the number, the longer it lasts. Mosquito repellent, same thing. I want you to pack that mosquito repellent. If you're going anywhere, if the mosquitoes are out, you definitely want to put it on. Another nice thing that they have, which is available in packets, is Pedialyte. Pedialyte is a really, really good thing that you can pack in that bag. So if somebody gets that stomach flu or somebody's getting dehydrated, you give them that Pedialyte and that will kind of help out in a pinch and will make all the difference in the world. So sure hope that gave you kind of some nice practical advice. Make sure that you go generic when you're doing that. I will have kind of a list at the end of this that you can maybe screenshot and then when you go to the pharmacy you can kind of just go through the things that we had just talked about. Once again, I'm Dr. Marizu with Minutes for Moms here to give you more practical pediatric advice. Give me a like, subscribe. If there's any videos that you need me to cover, please put that in the comments and I would love to give you whatever advice that you need. Once again, now you know what I know. Until next time, thanks.